Hey guys, so in today's video, I'll be walking you guys through landing platform and as well as winning platform. And if you guys do have any other locations you want me to cover, let me know down in the comments. You might think you've mastered platform, but there's always different strategies and multiple ways of playing on this floating mansion. I'll take you through my path and some mindful tips you might not have been aware of. To start off is with the jump. It can really make or break your chances of winning. Personally, depending on where the platform is, I like to jump between 14 to 1200 meters. As well as incorporating the side glide, as it does ensure you an early landing, and at times you can catch a type of momentum as you release your parachute. As I made it before the others, I land here particularly because of the cover I can use. And as you are in the middle, you do have a better visual as the map is not reliable. But I didn't have anyone contest my tier, so I move. I attempt to follow a player that I believe is at a disadvantage with no weapon, but it does lead me to nothing except a glorious HSO, which is perfect for a close quarter combat like platform itself. On platform, you do have to keep moving, and as I move forward, my teammates are with me and we do push the open tier of the platform. This area is risky, you do have a lot of exposure, but if you can quickly use your surrounding objects to take cover, it really all depends on your enemy. As I felt I could ego challenge, the enemy did decide to back off. And at this point, I'm fully aware that there's nobody on the top tiers of platform. So I proceed to prepare for my next engagement. Timing was on my side as I do catch this player off guard, and not to mention isolated away from their teammates. It was just an easy pick to ensure my chances of beating this team. Still, there is no one above me. Peeking the second enemy below was my only other option. And truly, out of nowhere, the last two enemies wanted to avenge their teammates. Thankfully, I was paired with an HSO, one of the most broken guns in the game, and at that point, it's just hitting your shots. 